The last prophet in the world, last prophet in the world, last prophet in the world to show how to be closer to Allah. He is Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. The first Muslims. After the second revelation, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam secretly started to invite his close family members and friends to accept him as a prophet and follow Allah subhanahu wa taala's laws. According to Ibn Qasir, the first four people who accepted Islam are Khadija peace be upon her, who was the first woman, Zaid peace be upon him, who was the first free slave, Ali peace be upon him, who was the first child, and Abu Bakr, who was the first free man. And they all were the first Muslims. So who was the second person that became Muslim? After Khadija radiyallahu ta'ala anhu. There are some different opinions about that. Some scholars believe Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam's close friend Abu Bakr was the second person who became a Muslim. Other scholars believe that Abu Bakr was not in town at that time and that he went to Yemen for his business trip. So in that viewpoint, Ali peace be upon him who was only a 10-year-old boy at that time was the second person who accepted Islam on the other hand there is another opinion that all four of these great people accepted Islam on the same day when Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the second revelation but Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala knows the best for us the main point is that they were all great muslims who helped Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam spread Islam with their life from the very beginning after a few days Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala sent the first complete surah which was surah al-Fatiha one day angel Jibreel peace be upon him came and showed the prophet how to wash the important parts of the body which were the steps to make wudu he was taught that wudu was needed in order to prepare for the prayer then the angel taught the prophet how to pray the muslims at that time used to pray in secret and made sure that it was in a quiet place during the first 3 years muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam secretly spread islam with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's guide During this time his goal was to find some people to make them a strong believer of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and make them a very good muslim. He tried to tell them not to do idol worshiping and explain to them that those idols were not their gods. Those were just a piece of stone or mud. The true god is the god of Adam, Ibrahim, Moses, and Jesus peace be upon them all spreading islam in secret continued to happen for almost 3 years however even though he didn't spread islam openly at that point people knew about his work and since he never did it publicly the bad people also could not say anything about his work so how many people accepted muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as a prophet According to some scholars, by that time there were only around 130 people or less who accepted Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam as their prophet. When Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam got strong supporters, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala ordered him to tell the people openly so they would stop their idol worshiping and accept Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as their god. After receiving the order from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala during his first gathering about 45 people came and Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam talked about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's law and order but from the beginning the prophet had a very bad uncle named 
Abu Lahab. When the Prophet went out to preach in public, Abu Lahab started to shout and threaten Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam and told him not to talk about the one and only God, Allah subhanahu wa taala. So in that very first meeting, because of Abu Lahab, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam could not say anything to the people. So in another day, he had a small gathering with the people that he personally selected. So that meant on that day, Abu Lahab wasn't there to disturb the Prophet while he was preaching. In that meeting, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam openly said that he was the Prophet of Allah subhanahu wa taala, and he told the people to do good actions because this life is very short, and there is a life after our death. All of our good and bad deeds will matter, and at that time, Allah subhanahu wa taala will judge us to see who was good and who believed in Him as the one and only God. If we are good, Allah subhanahu wa taala will be happy with us and grant us heaven. Otherwise. We will have to stay with the evil, which is in a very bad place. After hearing that, his very good uncle Abu Talib, who loved him very much and took care of him starting from his childhood, told Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam that he would not be a Muslim. So he did not help Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam anymore. Well, even though he wasn't a Muslim, he promised to protect Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam from the bad people throughout his entire life. That was a very good news for Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, but bad for Abu Lahab who did not like that and became very mad. One early morning, when everyone was sound asleep, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Woke up and climbed Mount Safa. Then all of a sudden, in the early quiet morning, Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam started to scream, "Ya Sama, Ya Sama!" Meaning, "Oh, morning disaster!" People from every house started to come out to hear Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam because they thought that there was an enemy that was coming to attack them. Then the prophet asked, "If I tell you that behind the hill there was an army ready to attack you, would you believe me?" Everyone said yes because he would never tell a lie. Then Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam said, "If you don't believe in Allah subhanahu wa taala, a big punishment will come to you." Then his uncle. Abu Lahab became very mad and said, "You called us only for that. You should die." This was the first open invitation for everyone. And right then, Abu Lahab threw a stone at the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, and the people were starting to leave. From that day, he started to tell the people about Allah subhanahu wa taala's laws and orders. In every corner of the town, and he openly started to pray at the Kaaba. Many people started to feel like Islam was a logical and true religion, so they accepted Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala as their only true God, and Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam as their true Prophet. Soon, at least one member of each family had become a Muslim. However, As a result, those who became Muslims, their family members did not like that. So they were very rude to them, and sometimes they even punished them for becoming a Muslim. Well, that's all for today. Inshallah, we'll see you next time. The Prophet story. Assalamu alaikum. Just like all of the other prophet stories that we have produced, we are inshallah planning to create the entire life story 
of Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam. However, since there are many details about Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, inshallah there will be several episodes in order to complete his entire biography. Just like always, Zazakallah for your support because you have made this possible. We are giving special thanks to each and every one of our supporters who gave a one-time donation or a monthly gift. And if you haven't yet supported us, it's never too late because we are always trying to produce the best content for all of you.